Good evening, everybody. The Davis County track team is one of the best in the state of Iowa. Longtime coach Josh Husted has been named the 2A coach of the year. I don't view, as a, view it as an individual award. It, it's just an award uh, that says that our program is being recognized across the state of Iowa. And I hope our athletes have a lot of pride in Davis County. The Davis County girls basketball team got a head start on the season as they played in the Pekin Jamboree Tuesday night. The Mustangs numbers are up, but the question is, will, that, will it add up to more victories? I did some calculation. 92% of our scoring is back from last season and 86% of our rebounding is back. Um, on paper, um, we're, we're pretty good, but on the floor right now, we're not very good yet. Brashear has a new boys and girls basketball coach. He's Corbin Coe. On the girls' side, he wants his team to run their opponents out of the gym. The girls, I think I can get up a little more up-tempo at the beginning of the season. The, um, just a few more girls that seem like they're experienced and ready to, ready to roll from the beginning. No introductions were needed when the Scotland County boys started practice. Everybody is back from last year's squad that was 10 up and 15 down, but that number should flip-flop this year. We've made a lot of progress so far. We've uh, got a lot of things in, and we didn't have to start from scratch like a lot of teams. We bring everybody back from last year. Uh, the only thing we had to do was add a few sophomores into the mix that are new to the varsity levels. The Indian Hills basketball team is off to a 5-0 start. The Warriors are averaging 111 points a game. The chemistry is there. Everybody is getting quality minutes against quality teams. I think that we've played a pretty good schedule. We've had some really good home games, and we've gotten to use a lot of our personnel and see what they can do under the lights, you know. So I think we're in a good spot right now. We've got two tough games coming up this weekend, but I like where we're at. The Truman State men's basketball team will hit the road to face Indiana State tomorrow night. This will be the third time the teams have met in as many years. Even though it's an exhibition, the Bulldogs are treating it like a postseason matchup. We'll have a great effort from our standpoint. It'll be a great crowd, a great atmosphere. Um, and and our, we've played well there last year. Two years ago, we did not play particularly well. The Truman State women's basketball team heads to Nashville for games Friday and Saturday. First up, it's perennial power, Grand Valley State. Oh, I think they're going to match up actually really well with us. Uh, and I think it's going to be a good game. I think it's going to be a battle of who can kind of stay the course and, and just grind it out at the end.